Brand. Oh. <laughs> Best Brand's over. Eve. It's time for another one. Another one, huh? All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, yo! Yo! No, no! Yes. Not kidding, not that! Yes. Anything but that! <laughs> oh! Oh, Cappy! The shock faded. <laughs> He got off easy. <laughs> I'll have to find another one real quick. Yo! No! Yeah! Yo! Get him out of here! Come on! Bring him up here! Get him here! Get him like this! Huh? Get him like this! Get him like this! Get him like this! Get him like this! Get back! Get back! There'll be no dessert! Oh. <laughs> Where are you taking me? You're going to NBC. You're going to do your own special. Oh, no! <laughs> so they give you a special here at NBC, and all I got to do is go out and explain who I am. Be American. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Well, I hope so. Let me look at you. I remember when you was just a little bitty string bean. And look at you now. Oh, thank you. You don't know who I am, do you? No, ma'am, I don't. I'm your sister's aunt's cousin on your father's side. I'm Sister Mabel Williams. Sister Mabel Williams. Right. Good yeah. to see you. I knew you when you was a baby. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's so good to see you having your own show. Thank you. All these years of praying for you finally paid off. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. And hold on, honey. Hold on. I'm having one of my spiritual flashes. Heal. 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 I'm okay now, darling. I hope so. And I'll be even better when you tell me that you're going to have His Holiness, the Reverend James L. White, on your show. His Holiness, the Reverend James L. White, on my show? I don't know anything about that. See, this religion's pretty... Watch it, sir. What's the matter? I just said... Watch your heathen words and remember what the Bible says. Thou shalt not steal. Right. Thou shalt not lie. And thou shalt not deny James L. White a prime time guest shot. You dig it? Yes, ma'am. I think I understand. Well, you better. Because with him on your show, everyone will be touched by his divine message. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And hold on, son. Here comes another one of my flashes. Here you Here you
about big money. And brothers and sisters, this evening, my service concerns nothing but money. I want you to, I want you to dig down. I said I want you to dig down. Sell, you say, you got all that money, and you seem to be always begging. I ain't begging. I'm just trying to relieve you of some of that paper. Because I got to have Some of you out there say, well, why don't you sell some of your boats, some of your big fabulous hotel? Huh, that's what you say. Get rid of some of that expensive wardrobe. And that's easy for you to say, because you have none of these things. <laughs> some of you out there even have the nerve to send cards and letters and say, why don't you sell some of them diamonds you got on? You take me for a fool. <laughs> to have those phone calls coming in. We love them. Hello. Oh, yeah. Pimlico in the fifth. Yeah. I make a few donations myself. You know, huh? another call. Hello, sister. Hello. You look lovely. Thank you. A family made a lovely donation to the church last week. They donated her. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. And we will use it well. <laughs> now, uh, hello. Yes, sister. Yes, you called last? Yes, Sister Johnson. Yes, we remember your call. How much did she donate? She donated $500. $500? Isn't that wonderful? $500. And was it a check? Or, oh, it was a check. Oh, that's all right. You say you have a problem and you want to be healed. And something's wrong with your feet? The five hundred dollars. Put your foot to the floor. <laughs> well, can you put both feet to the floor? Or well, just drop the phone on your feet. <laughs> feel. Yeah. Did you feel that? Did you hear that? Did it make you feel that? Well, it takes some time for the healers to work completely. Yes. Uh, what time is the bank open tomorrow? Nine o'clock. Uh, yes. You should be healed by nine o one. Just after your check clears. <laughs> Take care, sister. God bless. Wonderful woman. <laughs> you know, it come to me in a dream, and I hate to bring these things to you in the church, but it come to me in a dream that a lot of people complain from time to time. They say that we're having financial problems in the church, and that is true. We are having financial yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah. And that's because we're not getting the crossover bucks. <laughs> we're not getting the white folk money. <laughs> Most of our money comes from the minorities around the world. Although there are a lot of them, they don't have as much as one rich white person. <laughs> For, we're looking for the Billy Graham dollar. Yeah. We want the money, honey. Yeah. So we offered a little message to the white folks of not sending any money. We're not begging for the crippled children. Yeah. And we're not begging for the orphans, the black orphans of Watts. We're not begging for them. No, and we're not begging for the black old folks home either. This money is to go to the BTAL, the Back to Africa Movement. Works every time. You know, how do you 
young people are wasting our times using these phones for other than donations. A lot of you people are calling back wanting refunds. Well, I have you know that God resents it. The angels resent it, and I resent it. I want you to believe that. And if God has given up refunds, I will be the first to get one. You better believe that. So, until next week, brothers and sisters, we'd like to bid you adieu. And to those of you who will be lucky enough to be with us next week, we love you truly. To those of you who may not make it because of some hazard, a building falls on you, or a truck runs in through your bedroom, or something bizarre like that happens, we advise you to send in a large donation, and perhaps we could say a prayer to pull you through your agony. And now, I'd like to add one more thing before we close. Please make your donations out to me and not to God. We don't like to worry God with those small details, such as going to the bank and having an ID card and things like that. They tried to bust him last week. He had no IDs. It was really pitiful. So until we see you again, we wish you pleasant dreams and have a prayer in your heart and money in your pocket. Studio 2, ladies and gentlemen. This is where we tape the Midnight Special, Wheel of Fortune, Hollywood Squares, and many other of our game shows. Oh, I see Richard Pryor is here today. He's working on an NBC special. Richard Pryor. Who? R Richard Pryor. Oh, what's he do? What's he do? Didn't you see him in the Mac and Adios Amigos with Fred Williams? Oh, him. Well, I thought he was much lighter. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Jeez. You know, I just look at you and I start laughing. <laughs> yes, sir. This is crazy, because I was just thinking about you. You were? Yeah, I was telling myself, I said, Richard Pryor is going to be the next big black superstar of our time. Oh, you thank know? you, man. And I was also telling myself how much I owe you, man, for making me laugh thank so you. many times. I got you. You know, oh. and uh, I just loved you, man. Thank you. Yeah. I, uh, listen here. Yes. Uh, you're not going to have that same old sick, tired stuff on your special, are you? Well, I hope not, because we good. got big plans. Good, good, because I, I got an idea for you. You do? Yeah, yes. Right. Now, this is it. Why don't you have the My Favorite Group on your show? You got a group that's your favorite? That's right. What's that? The Pips. You ever seen them? They go, woo, and then they get with the shoulders. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, you mean Gladys and the Pips? No, no, Richard. I didn't say anybody no Gladys. Read my lips. I said, the Pips. <laughs> the Pips, Richard. Yeah, have hmm. them on it. How's Gladys going to feel about that? Man, Gladys can take care of herself. <laughs> Besides, she didn't have the Pips in that uh, snow movie she made. What was it? Pipe Dreams Pipe or something? Pipe Dreams, yeah. That was a cold shot on them. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Huh? What'd you say? Why just the pips? What? Now, I'm, I knew you was going to ask that. Why just the pips? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. Well, now, now, A is because this is a special, you see. That's A. Yeah. Now, B is because, see, now, in your brain, I know you're funny. Thank I you. I know yeah. that, see. But in your face, Richard, uh. there is no cash money there. Oh. What you can do? I can? Yes. Oh. You want pips out there? And yeah. eat cookie man? Yeah. And then, then the camera just come up and take all those close-ups, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's called a balance show, Rich. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, Rich. I, I can meant see you. it all, man. I yeah. can just see it right You can? Here. Yeah. Right over here, Richard. Oh. I can see it. Look how it is. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Richard Pryor Show is proud to present... And the Pips! <laughs> Oh, 
clock for me, huh? Huh? <laughs> Say, man, what you doing? Stealing that clock you got there. <laughs> oh, wow. You know who you are? Yeah, what's your name? Yeah, man. That's you? Yeah, that's me. What's your name? Uh, Booster. Booster Johnson. <laughs> Booster Johnson? The Booster Johnson? Yeah. Man, I know you. You know me? Yeah, you sold a TV set to my Aunt Maxine. <laughs> no, no, it's still working. Oh, wow, well, man, look, uh, like you in the jewelry? Me? Yeah. Hell. Yeah. What could you use a watch? What kind? <laughs> you name it, bro. What are you going on here? Hmm? Who are you? Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm Richard Pryor. I'm, I'm here doing a special. Pryor? I don't believe we have any black people here this week. You got two in front of you. Let me look at my black book. Let's see. There's Red, Flip, Slappy, Nipsey, Bill Crosby, Sidney Porter. You're not Sidney, are you? No, no, no. Pryor. Yeah, Roger Pryor. What about you, buddy? Huh? Ah, you. Uh, Booster. Booster Johnson. Yes, I'm the producer of this show. <laughs> yeah, I'm pleased to meet you, the producer. That's right. These are some of the gifts for our guests. Yeah, I'm going to take a look. I'm guess. not so sure about married? this. I'm yes, married. I am, yeah? and very yeah. happily. Look, 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 look. You married her? Mm. Uh, look here, how would you like to pick a little gift for your, for your lovely wife here? Oh, my lovely little wife always wanted one of these television sets. Yeah, well, she ain't that lovely. Look at here. Pick that down. <laughs> that down here. Just, just, just give her that, here. Yeah? Compliments to the Roger Pryor show, and just tell her to keep a little flat down there, yeah? uh, Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, you're quite welcome. Damn, Brewster, you're something else, man. Uh, yeah, well, you know, just trying to stay three ahead, because they're going to push you two back. <laughs> The following is a rebuttal to a recent NBC editorial. Speaking on behalf of the Commonwealth of Uganda is His Majesty Idi Amin Dada. Thank you very much. My name is Idi Amin Dada. That's two A's, three D's, and one gun. <laughs> I tell you something. I come here tonight to speak in defense of the who S of A. That's right, compared to my country, Uganda. You speak of my country in bad terms, always negatively. First, I'd like to say, Uganda is not Cleveland. <laughs> you cannot apply Cleveland principles to Uganda. <laughs> These are wonderful people here. I love this country. I love American people. I want to say I have two for lunch. <laughs> I only make little joke. I always like to make little joke. No, we had turkey for lunch. And I did not kill the turkey. Turkey died in car accident. <laughs> <laughs> you American people, you have no sense of humor. <laughs> How you have no sense of humor and you got big Disneyland? Huh? You think everything porky pig? <laughs> <laughs> and I love little mouse that you have run around Disneyland. Little black mouse, very nice. Why you have white voice? <laughs> This here, this here is my medals. I bought my medals because I want to show the world that either Amin got medals. President Carter don't got no medals. This medal here, I got for kicking, kicking all the white people out of Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, this one here for lying. I got this for lying. 
President Nixon got one, but it's really big. <laughs> people here in this country, you say that I'm crazy. You say that I got VD. I don't like when you say this, but here's a metal for VD. <laughs> but you know who started vicious rumor that I have VD? Kissinger started rumor. <laughs> Kissinger got VD. <laughs> so you probably wonder to yourself why I have VD. This VD stands for, in my country, victory dance. <laughs> Someday, all over the world, black men do the victory dance. <laughs> you know, speaking of black men, Muhammad Ali and myself are the only black men known all over the world, and we're both Muslim. <laughs> Americans don't want the black men to know nothing. You know that? They don't even want the black men to come to Africa to fight. You know why? Because <laughs> in Africa, nobody call you nigger. <laughs> Mr. Dada, Mr. Dada, your time is up. My time is, time who up? No, your time is up. My time is up. No, sorry, Bob, your time is up. <laughs> and we got something for the executives upstairs, too. Men. Sugar Lassie, Carmel Treat, Honey Gold Baby, sweet enough to eat. My name is Alice. I'm Peach. Peach skinned girl, coffee and cream. Chocolate darling, out of a dream. I'm Diane, and I'm teasing Tan. Walnut tinted, a cocoa brown, pomegranate lipped, pride of the town. I'm Debbie. I'm honey gold. Rich cream colored, to plum tinted black, feminine sweetness in Harlem's no lack. I'm Janice, and I'm persimmon. Walnut. A cocoa, let me repeat, caramel brown sugar, a chocolate treat. I'm Yvonne, and I'm chocolate. Molasses taffy, coffee and cream, licorice, clove, cinnamon, to a honey brown dream. My name, it's Azizi. And I'm Blackberry. And we're all beautiful. Hey, Richard Pryor! Come here, boy, let me hit them shoes for you. You can't go out there and do that special with them shoes looking like that, man. Get your butt up there. Yes, sir. You know, you can tell the caliber of a man's show by his shoe. I can see you're going to be on daytime TV. <laughs> yes, sir. I've been around here a long time. I see them come and go. See, I know that. I know all the peoples all along NBC. See that wall full of pictures? Them's people. <laughs> I come out here with a bunch of midgets. <laughs> That's right. We're the first black circus in America. There's midgets in it, see? Black people come in all sizes, the tallest in the world and the shortest. I come out here with the shortest. I wish I'd have come out here with the tallest, because we'd have whooped a little ass. <laughs> 
One of the girls in the circus was wonderful. She could do flips and stuff with acrobatics. <laughs> I loved her, too. She used to grease her behind, slide down your head, and whip around in the air like that. That was an act of scene, boy. Girl made it, could have made a lot of money, but one time she didn't grease it and hit that cement and tore it all to him. <laughs> Did you not put no polish on my socks? Say, boy, don't tell me nothing about no shoes. I know the man invented the shoes. Black man out of Detroit named Stacy Adams. <laughs> when I was here in 29, let me tell you something. 1929 was a, cr a crash. That's what they called it, see? White folks went crazy. <laughs> they did. One berserk was running all up and down the hall, jumping out a window. You know, white folks can't live without money, see? <laughs> I had fun. I was just watching them fly their way. <laughs> I think I shined four pairs of shoes that year. <laughs> that was a bad year for me. <laughs> I'm the one who got you your show, boy. You the one I built you up. I said, Richard Pry, funniest man in the world, he should be on the show. Have him on now. And I gave him one of your records. They run out of here. <laughs> Acting all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you got your specials, yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. I want a tip, man. <laughs> you know, that's a nice piece of money, boy. You got style. Where's my tip? <laughs> I wonder if I could do something about a bar on my show. Now, that would be interesting. They're all over the United States. It's very universal. I wonder how it would start. Mm. Not respectable. <laughs> Drinking's not respectable. How can you say that? <laughs> if the brother of the President of the United States of America can take a few beers, <laughs> why can't I? <laughs> oh, what do you know? Oh, you know I do sit and drink and put that poison in your system. <laughs> You know, if I was your woman, I wouldn't let you drink that. We have a house in the country. We'd have the kids running around, going to college. We'd go to Disneyland. Ooh. Ooh. What are me. you talking about? <laughs> huh? Why, why don't you talk about something you know about? Huh? <laughs> like drinking. <laughs> Drink to be sociable. Yeah. Sociable? <laughs> sociable? She spent more time in here than the bartenders. <laughs> you spend a lot of time in here, too. <laughs> All you do, you come in and you sit down by yourself, you be drinking, you don't do nothing. What can you do? Huh? for you, Willie. You're drunk. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Huh? I'm drunk? <laughs> I'm drunk, baby. I'm one of your best customers. I come in, I drop $50, $60 a week up in here, baby. You know how hard my old lady has to work for that money? <laughs> I'm not drunk either. <laughs> How are you gonna get drunk off a of 3.2 whiskey? <laughs> huh? You think we don't know? You putting water in the whiskey? We had a meeting on it. 
The whole town's talking about it. The whole town's whole town. Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> Yeah. I know what it is. You president. You a big act. <laughs> He's prejudiced against black drunk people. <laughs> Look, give everybody a drink. Look, here, hey, hold up. Hold it. Get a drink. Let's come on. Give her a drink. Give one. Give him a, give her a pillow. <laughs> get two drink. There's three. Give me two. Get somebody ain't gonna get one. <laughs> And put this on my account. Yeah. On account, I ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Willie, every Friday night it's the same thing. You come in here, you get drunk, you go into the john, you get sick all over all the other drunks. <laughs> <laughs> and then he loses his car keys in the jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Look, if you ain't drunk, I can see you walk straight line. Say what? Walk straight line. You ain't said nothing. Walk, I can walk a line on my head, baby. I'll walk it if you let her draw it. Yeah. <laughs> I draw it. I draw it with you, baby. I draw it with you. Yeah. You gonna draw it, baby? You always must volunteer. <laughs> no more! What are you doing? Making a fool out of yourself again, woman? Hey, wait a minute, buddy, mister. This is a lady person. You shut up! Uh, now, what are you doing? Now, where's the food money? You're supposed to be out there food shopping. Good. He's been... Say, woman, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Man, what? You talking to my woman? <laughs> Buddy, you in a world of trouble now. That's right. You done mess with the kid, man. Come on, woman. Oh, I don't know what I would have done to you. Come along, Daddy. Somebody say ten. Say, man, what? Did he hit you, too? Come on, Willie. Huh? You had your fun. Had fun? You call that fun? Come on, you got to go home now. If I got to go home, baby, you check for me. I don't want to have to kill nobody, you know? <laughs> OK, Willie. Let's go straight ahead. Hey, Dad, keep the change. OK. I'll see you tomorrow, Willie. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to see me tomorrow. My woman find out, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I know she's going to kill me. She's just going to kill me. Then she's going to talk me back to life. Then she's going to kill me again. <laughs> I don't want to get sick, Lord, please. Help me get over this one, I'll get over the next one by myself. <laughs> I need that. Garbage man was here today. <laughs> hey, baby, open the door. Woo-hoo. Baby. Hey, baby. Ah, ah. <laughs> I ain't got time to stand up and listen to it, baby. <laughs> Willie. Why do you drink so much, Willie? You had a nice time at the party? <laughs> I know the bartender had a good time. Oh. He loves you, too, I bet, Willie. He loves you as much as uh, the landlord loves you the telephone company, and the corner grocery man. Oh, they don't understand you. They don't appreciate your generosity. Well, they don't know how you 
balance the economy, Willie. <laughs> no bar in a radius of two square miles can go broke because you spread your money around fairly. <laughs> of course, you spread yourself around, too. But uh, who suffers? Me? Don't worry about me, Willie. I get along. I get to sit here and talk to you intimately like this every night. <laughs> and I get to see you in the morning, sick, tired, and disgusted. You know, my social worker asked me why I stay with you. How can I explain to her that I see you like you were on your that first day? You were so sassy. Your shoulders used to ride high like the breasts of young girls. And you used to call me things that sound like I was something good to eat. Honey, baby, sweetie. You said, marry me, I'll make you a queen. And then I remember at the courthouse, when we went to get married, you got very uptight. I was so happy, I didn't really want to notice it. But later, you said, when the judge called you by your first name, he may as well have called you boy. I, th I thought you were being too sensitive. And then you lost your first job. And then you lost your second job. And then I watched you time and again go up to that welcome table and come back with dry bones. And you knew I was watching you, too. And then you called yourself a nigger. And I said, oh, honey, don't call yourself that. And you said, no, no, it's an affectionate term. I can use it, but nobody else can use it. And then you called me a nigger, Willie. And then if there was ever any affection in it, it disappeared. Because you started using it to curse me, to curse yourself, to curse the whole race. To curse life, Willie. And then the booze. The booze began to take my place. It was closer than a friend and truer than a wife. And booze doesn't ask questions. <laughs> and then what do I do, Willie? What do I do? I hate you. I hate you. I hate wondering if maybe some fool who thinks as little of himself as you will be driving a car when you step off the curb one night. And I hate wondering if that booze is going to make you think you're Muhammad Ali and you say the wrong thing to the right person. I hate you. I hate you until you come home, Willie. And then when you come home, I love you, Willie. I know you're not, you're not what you wanted to be, Willie. And you're not what I wanted it to be, but I'm yours, Willie. And you're mine. And when I forget that, there ain't nothing else worth remembering. Yeah. Are you going to do a special? Yeah, I'm on my way there now. What you going to have on the show, man? Anything for kids? I'm glad you asked that, because I got some great ideas for kid stuff. We're going to have some clowns and some seltzer bottles, pies in the face. It's going to be hysterical. Man, kids don't like that stuff. You know, I know what I can do. I can have some basketball players dribbling around, Muhammad Ali giving boxing demonstrations. Stick them, champ. Stick them. How about something educational? Something that will be socially relevant. Yeah, you have a unique vehicle here, Mr. Pryor, and we think you should use it as a form for meaningful expression. Take advantage of this medium and conceptualize. Conceptualize? What are you talking about? Let me ask you something. Who's the man who helped design the nation's capital? Benjamin Banneker, a black man. 
Who was the first man to help the pilgrims survive in the new world? Squanto, a red man. Man, that's something. You guys tell me some more. The first man to die, well, the flag we now hold time, was a black man. I want to do. I appreciate the suggestions, but I'm not going to do any of those dumb suggestions on my show. I know what I want to do. All I need is an opening, something to get me started. Let me see, something like, uh... oh, I got it. Greetings, <laughs> 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 brother. I'm right. Shut him up. The huh? head writer. Hey, brother, look, we got the ultimate script for you. We got a script that that reveals the black man's plight in America. Yeah. We got a show that for the first time showcases black unity, That's right. dignity, dignity, and pride. Uh -huh. And pride, right, brother. That's what's... Oh. <laughs> well, it's great. Uh, I have to read it. I, I'll make a few changes. Changes? Right. Right. There ain't no changes. Yeah, oh, you did, right. Jack. We expect you to go out there and do it exactly like you said. That's Just right. like it says. Exactly like it says. Right brother. We want to write it safe. Like you... Yeah. Right on. Power to the people. Tell it like it is. Be cool. Dig it? <laughs> This script is gonna bring the message to the people. That's right. That's good, but it sounds real heavy, you know? Don't get me wrong, yeah. but is there anything in it funny? Yeah. Funny? Yeah. Hey, hey, this is not funny. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 I'm about really funny. Yeah, this not big on this yeah. <laughs> In one of the sketches? Yeah. <laughs> you slap this white broad upside <laughs> <laughs> her head, and I knock her to the floor. <laughs> 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 
That's funny. My show mapped out. Okay. Hey, 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 Richard, uh, you want to see your two dogs again? Uh -huh. <laughs> my dog! There you go! My dog! That's right, brother. So you said ain't, ain't nothing, ain't, ain't nothing to talk about, you dig it? So let's huh? just go out and do the show. Yeah, you with us? Yeah, man, you with us. Come on, bro. Come on, let's yeah. go. Come on, come on here. And remember what we think. Yeah, now come on, do it. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh,